It's... He's pretty much good with everyone. I've seen him play characters from Link to Pikachu. It's, and I guess Ganondorf now. I'm okay with it. Uh, Kitty, Kitty seems like he's a Ganondorf main, to be honest. Ah. It just seems like his character. I don't know. He mains random. Mains random. But um, ah. one thing about Kitty is he's an old school player. He's been playing for like upwards of eight years or so, if I remember correctly. Oh, wow. He's mained almost any character in the sun. So yeah, he's got the experience He for this. is a very fundamental player. He is always, he is always a, yeah, right? Uh, but he's always a contender for actually taking ev these every Tuesday. He is a freaking amazing player. But let's not count out Joe Falco, the man who taught me the Marth Ditto. Uh, this guy's you. Marth is really, really good. Oh, yeah, I love watching really him play. He's a really good player. I've played against him. He, I mean, I'm not really much to fight, to be honest, but he's got some good stuff going for him. But, Kitty, of course, it. he's an old school player. There's a lot of Marth in the world. He's got that experience. He knows how to end stocks, even with Ganondorf. And in this matchup, that up air that Ganon has, um, if you turn around and you hit just with the very end of it, it's a beautiful gimping move and, and tons of matchups. It's incredible. Like, you'll just hit him with your little tippy toes and then they just fall and die. It's amazing. And if you ledge cancel oh it, you can just goodness. grab ledge after the up air. Ooh, that was nice. Yeah. Good tip. But no, it's an incredible option. Ganon's reverse up air is amazing for edge guarding. This matchup is historically pretty difficult for Ganon. Uh, Marth doesn't really have to approach it all in this matchup. You can kind of just because you don't have you don't have a projectile to really threaten Marth's like oh oh ow! those Ken combos. But um, that was more of just a down air. It wasn't really a combo. Uh, I mean, it was comboed off of something. Ken combo is forward air to down air. You silly Shut up. <laughs> but um. Oh, that was an interesting one. Yeah. But um, in this matchup, Marth doesn't really have to approach. He doesn't have a projectile threatening that stage control to be hit. Ganon has to go in instead. And Ganon's moves aren't super disjointed, whereas Marth's are. And when you don't have that kind of threat to make someone approach, and you also don't have the uh, like the range to actually threaten them, it makes it pretty difficult. Though, it's just um, made a bit better by the fact that Ganon's punish game on Marth is terrifying. Ganon's, oh, yeah. Ganon's punish game He's in general is good horrifying. Like, I think Ganon is just a punishing character overall. Every hit he does is like 20 so damage! And also, if you're really good at the perfect wavelengths, his movement actually isn't bad. And as you saw, oh, uh, that's gonna cost Annie, him, that's we'll fine. Do this He's got this. Whatever, he, he, got he this. smiled. He's still in shit. Um, but, um, one thing. Joe Falco just needs. He's not grabbing. He's just kind of dancing yeah, around. He's got a ridiculous grab range in this game. I don't know why he isn't abusing it more. Well, it's less that, but it's a lot easier for Kitty to know which option to pick in the neutral, like, and defensively. When he um, knows that Joe Falco's probably not going to grab him. Like, he's opting a lot for these, um, like, retreating down airs, and back airs, and fairs, and whatnot. He's just... Joe's playing a lot more hit and run, which is a good idea against Ganon. Again, there's no reason to really go in against him when you don't need to. But he's not opting for enough mix-ups to make Kitty not block. It's just, it's easy to predict what Kitty, Joe's going to go for. Yeah. Hopefully he kind of... And he's getting smacked in the face by a lot of moves. He's not, like, spacing out a lot of stuff really well. And, I don't know, he's not playing as well as I, I know he can play, which is it's always sad to see. Wow, okay. Because when you're watching someone and they're not playing up to their potential, yeah, it's always, weird. it's really, really, really sad. I'm not gonna lie, I've been seeing a lot of weird there we go. things going yes! on. Yes! That was pretty good, though. Oh, my goodness. That was almost bad for him. Now, good. also, See, that in this matchup... Nice. Oh, that was cool. But, um, in this matchup, if uh, Ganondorf... Oh, my <laughs> God. Almost got the Bizarro. But, um, in this matchup, if Ganon or Falcon is also the same... Wow. He's getting a lot of these different conversions, though. Um, is off stage. Fal Ganon should not be making it back. In his story. And you have so many different ways to cover their options. Reverse oh, hit of neutral B. Excuse me. That's it. That's going to be the stock. But you have so many different ways to cover Ganon's approach. And he doesn't have a ton of ways to mix up what he's going to do. 
that at a higher level especially, Ganon should not be making it back. Yeah, this and Ganon is surviving not, almost two There we go, he's dead. Just right grab now. No, he messed up the ah. wave! He messed up the wave dash to grab ledge. This is not what I know Joe Cobra for. That's not gonna do it. Oh, yes, that's there we go. Do it. First stop. What's really frustrating is this Marth, uh, like over a hundred-ish percent. It's a bit higher for Ganon, but he's really fat. Oh! Oh! I see oh, you, wow. Joe Falco. Joe right, was hustling him the whole time. Gave him the first game because he, he knew he needed, needed that it. momentum. That little combo there hopefully gave him some extra confidence. So he knows he can do better. Yeah. But, um... Oh, God, what did I oh, say? Oh, wow. He almost got the right angle there to actually finish off to um, kick stock. Which actually, that's a pretty good option against Ganon because Ganon cannot sweet spot the ledge. Okay. Like, um, what sweet spotting is, for those of you who don't know, is um, when you grab a ledge and no part of your hurt bubble is above the ledge. So, like, Mars Force Smash won't hit you if you sweet spot. But because of how Ganon and Captain... But because of how Ganon and Captain Falcon's actual, like, recovery animation goes, they cannot sweet spot, aside from, like, crazy means through Battlefield manipulation and stuff. It's weird. But, um, so, stuff like Marth down air, like, hitting the ledge like that, and also Ooh, forward smash yeah. and stuff, can really, really stuff Ganondorf's recovery pretty hard. That was kind of weird up there. Oh, okay. Nope. Don't got it. Mm. And as you saw there, the actual reverse up air like I was telling you about, sent him like at a semi-spike angle and knocked him down. All it's right. incredibly good. Oh yeah. And that jab. Oh my god, that's sending him so far. Alright. So Joe Falcon can still do this, but he is at kill percent. Like super kill percent. Look at how far Jab sending him now. This is gonna be rough. No! Oh, that's that's do it. it. That's gonna that be That is it. a 2 0. Joe not looking Joe too miffed about salty. it. He was not looking a bit. He's, you see that backhand he was